Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, I'm going to tell you about a very useful NetBeans plugin. So this is the CSV editor plugin. After installation of this plugin, you can easily edit your CSV file here with the help of GUI. This is very easy. I will show you how you will install and how you can use this plugin. And after that, you don't need to go and uh, you don't need to open the Excel, MS Excel and then you can go the editing. You can do everything here in your NetBeans ID. Let's go guys. Open your favorite browser and simply type download NetBeans plugin and press enter. And very soon you will see these results. We have to select the first one. This is the official plugin download page from Apache team. Now, once you click on the first link, you will be landed here. Guys, you can see this is a completely refreshed new page. Previously, it was different. Now it has been updated by the Apache team. And now this is looks awesome. And here, this is the most popular plugin on the top, NetBeans CSV editor. Also, if you want to search other different plugins for your use in NetBeans so you can simply use this search box and type the plugin name and simply press the go button. Now we are focusing on the NetBeans CSV editor. So guys click on this link and then a new page will open here. You can see uh, details about the NetBeans CSV editor. On the right hand side you can see this image. So the graphical user interface you will get will look like this one. So you have the navigation controls, you have the buttons to add the new row or different things and few basic features which will help you to edit your CSV file in NetBeans. This is the download section. We have different download uh, extension for different NetBeans version. If you guys working with the NetBeans 11.0, so you have to go with this link. If you are looking for the NetBeans 12.0, then we have to look for the next version below this one. I really don't know this version will work with NetBeans 8.0. I didn't try this. You guys can try and let us know. So in this tutorial session, I'm using NetBeans 12.0. And uh, my, here, let me show you my NetBeans version is 12.3. So simply we have to click on this button. Once you click on this button, this will quickly download. This size is very small and our extension is downloaded. We are going to move further. So this is the place where I have downloaded this NetBeans plugin. Now guys, open your NetBeans ID. On the top menu, click here on the tools. Then this drop list will show you these options click on the plugins and this plugins window will appear in front of you now there are several tabs so we have to look for the downloaded tab and right now this, these are the available plugins which are ready to install and now we have to look for the downloaded so we came here and here you can see there's a button add plugins click on it and this browse window will appear now guys we have to select the downloaded extension so I'm looking for that downloaded extension, which is downloaded on desktop in somewhere in folder. Okay, we got it. So this one now I have just selected it. Going to click this button open. Here we go. And that NetBeans CSV editor plugin is selected. Now this is opened here on the right hand side. You can see the description about this plugin. So all these features you can use with this plugin in your NetBeans the final step click on this install button and then you will see this pop-up this will ask you to click on this next button please click on the next button this is the license agreement they are a very simple thing you can simply accept the checkbox click next and you will see this validation warning you guys can continue with trust because this NetBeans plugins provided by the official source uh, so we have just downloaded from the Net Apache website, so we can proceed it. This will not take much time. This is installed and now we can see. Click on this installed so you can verify. 
your plugin is there or not. Now you can see user installed plugin. Once you select this, you will see the information on the right hand side plugin description and notice here NetBeans CSV module is installed. That's it guys. I have just closed it. Now it's time to verify and use the NetBeans CSV plugin. So I need a CSV. I have already downloaded a test data CSV. So what I will do, I will copy this test CSV here in my project folder. So this is added here. Now we will try to open this CSV file in this editor. So you guys simply do the double click to open this one or you can simply do the right click and can click open option. So this way your CSV will open here as a table. Now it's very easy to edit and make changes here. So guys, we are going to do some changes. On the top, you can see there are option, the table view. This is the main source of the CSV and you have also the history button. Whatever the changes you are doing, that will be stored as a history. So you, anytime you can come back and check the history of your file, what changes you have done. Now I'm doing this, some changes here in this column and we will see this is auto save or manual save. So I have done some changes. Now what I have to do, I have to press control S first time. So this will save our changes in the CSV file. And guys, these are the buttons and these buttons are very useful. You have the option to add the column, add new row. Also you have some navigation button as well. So you can navigate from top to bottom, bottom to up, left to right, right to left. So these buttons are very useful. And now I'm changing uh, one more cell. So we will see this is saving or not. No, this is not saving. I'm trying to close without saving. So this is prompt me this message. You need to save it. So click on the save button. Guys, to save the changes, you have to press control S. Okay, now let me show you the use of these buttons. Once you click on the down arrow, so one record will move. So you can navigate through the record from top to bottom. You can simply jump from bottom to up by pressing this button. Also, you have these buttons to add more, add more columns and add new rows. So guys, I'm not performing this steps. I'm leaving you this exercise for you. So this is all yours. Install your plugin and do some hands on. And this plugin is ready for your daily use. And this is more convenient than opening your CSV file with Microsoft Excel. So I think you guys got the clear understanding about the installation and use of this plugin in NetBeans IDE. And if you found this tutorial relevant and useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And guess for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.